welcome. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? My name's Adora. Adora, that's pretty. Where are you calling us from? I'm currently living in Charlotte. Charlotte, how old are you? I'm 31. 31, what you do for a yeah. living? I'm a nail tech slash stylist, but my main income comes from being a nail tech. A nail tech slash stylist. Okay, yeah. you have any kids? Yes, so I have four children. And how old are your kids? So my oldest is 12. I have twin girls that are eight. And then my youngest is six. Okay, all by the same man? My last three are, yes. Your last three, so two yeah. men. Why didn't she just say two men? Kendra, she asked real direct questions. How many men? My last three are. Now she says, all by the same man? My last three are. That's who do? 101. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Just answer the question. Say no. I got two, you know, two child's followers, whatever. It's what it is. It's the truth. <laughs> Why is it a problem that she just won't flat out say how many baby father she had because that shows insecurity the fact you just won't say it why are you tr trying to hide this why are you trying to dress your reality up as if it's not what it is that's why it's an issue that's why we're talking about it why would she come up here and say oh the last three or four the last three years by the same guy because that sounds better than saying i got two baby daddies but you still have to get to it eventually and what is this? Is it safe to say that sisters in this position be lying to themselves and then they want to carry on with this with this lie through life and then wonder why things don't go their way? Because you're moving in a way that really has no bounds. There's no inbounds, has no out of bounds. You can do what you want. That is true. Straight like that. Yeah, so my I had my first one when I was 19, my 12-year-old son. And then my last three girls was in my long-term relationship um, with my ex. Okay, when did it end? Oh, it ended about three and a half years ago. They're telling me you've been here before, have you? First of all, you added me on Instagram and it went away. And then um, you added me on Instagram again, but I had bad reception. So I'm always in the comments like, add me back, Kendra, add me back. <laughs> okay, well, okay. They, I didn't remember. They remember though, child. But Kendra never, Cousins, Kendra Cousins they you. are like the FBI child. They going to tell yes. me. <laughs> but I've never got to speak to you. So I've just been able to like kind of load and then it got knocked off. But I never spoke to you yet. All right, so let's do it. Um, Adore, Adore Her is your name, right? So my name is Adora. Adora. Yes. Um, what's your birthday or zodiac sign? I'm Valentine's Day baby, Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. Yeah. So this is Adora, Charlotte, North Carolina? Yes, I'm in Charlotte. But I'm 31, nail tech, four kids. Mm -hmm. All right, but what kind of man are you looking for? I'm just looking for, my number one thing is consistency. It turns me on. If you can the way you start is the way you finish. That's going to get me. So as long as you're consistent, as long as you're loyal. Um, and I just don't like people who try to fabricate their life. Don't try to act like you're more than what you are. If you're a truck driver, be a truck driver. If you're a mailman, be a mailman. Just be who you are and be happy with who you are. That's it. Okay. What's some deal breakers? Ooh, deal breakers is a ghetto baby mama because I do not believe in being ghetto. I believe in I'm a, I'm a baby mother. I don't know. You are illustrating yourself differently. You can't walk around and dress up like a duck and say, I ain't a duck. That's what I'm saying. So, I, she, I tell you what, I like what she was saying. She said she wants a guy that's comfortable being himself. She said, you know, if you're a truck driver, say you're a truck driver. You know, don't come out here saying you're some logistics specialist. You know, if if you a mailman, say you a mailman. Be proud of who you are. And and I agree with that. I agree wholeheartedly. Men and women alike like to dress up their occupations, you know, and that, that just ain't cool. You know, me and Gavin, we have general contractor's license, but we really don't build big houses or buildings. We just simply lowly handy, man, if, if you will. And so we agree. Say what you is. Well, she halfway came in and said, she said, I'm a fashion designer and a nail tech. 
So she came in with her own hoodoo. See what I'm saying? The hypocrisy. <laughs> See, I'm doing my best to I it's it's so easy. They make it these sisters on single by choices make it so easy, you know what I'm saying, to critique. I do my best to give credit where I can. And she so, said but, but she, she came said, in yeah. granddad herself, huh? Yeah, she don't deal with all the baby mama ism, and I get it, but why don't you present yourself a little better? That's all I'm saying. Like, y'all don't have to wear them lashes all big like that. That's yes. just the bottom line. You Those 31. eyelashes. Oh, boy. Listen, you know, no, I think I have the authority to say this. No real man is attracted long-term to those eyelashes. But you know who is? Hell nug nug. <laughs> For sure. That's and all that's, she's doing. That's what we keep trying to say, ladies. Stop putting these trinkets on your face and on your fingers. And then be surprised when Nug Nug show up with his with his Xbox One, you know what I'm saying? And his uh black air forces. Come on. Y'all throwing the bat signal up too. I mean, gotta stop. Stop throwing that bat signal up and then being mad when Batman arrives. <laughs> So I know how it is. And I like to co-parent happily. I like to be able to talk to my baby father in, in nice, encouraging manners. So if it's a ghetto situation with Jimmy and baby mother, I can't do it at all. So no ghetto, no ghetto baby mamas. No ghetto baby mamas. <laughs> no rappers. Um, no rappers. <laughs> no rappers? We can't do no rappers, especially out here in Charlotte. No rappers. No ghetto baby mamas. Um, then what else? I mean, they just be employed. I mean, I wonder if a real classy woman came on here. If you exist, classy woman, come up sometime. We'd like to talk to you. I wonder if a classy woman's on there. And Kendra asked, me, or is she saying like no rappers? You know, it can't be no gangbanger. Or, or does she simply not attract that type of guy? You see what I'm saying? Because she ain't got on the Glorilla starter kit. And these rappers ain't approaching a classy woman who is carrying herself as such. But when you walk around with the Glow Real Starter Kid on, who you think gonna come after you besides your Gotti and them? Seriously, y'all not gonna find y'all. I don't know really what y'all looking for. It's, it's all it's all distorted. But y'all not gonna find some long term relationship at the least. At your local hole in the bar, you know, hole in the wall bar, at, at your local hood club, Mr. Right ain't in there. Mr. Right now, right him right now, he in there. Mr. Meet him up in the, in the back club bathroom stall, he in there. But you can't go out, as Gavin said, with all the trinkets dressed like Glorilla and the rapper's going to come. They're going to come. We are what we attract to some heavy extent. We are what we attract. Say it with me now. We are what we attract. There's no way around that. Nug Nug only come knocking at your door because he see a way in. He sees himself in you. Take note. And I was about to say, that's what I said. Go back to the main point. I said, if a real classy, eloquent, you know, a woman who carry herself, you know, up on her square. Come on here. Is she really on her scent? Kendra, what's can you say? What kind of man ain't you for? All them rappers, you know, them, them, them thugs in the street, none of them. That's not even on her radar. That's what I'm mm -hmm. saying. So y'all, y'all pegging yourselves when y'all say these things. That's all I'm saying. Be careful. That's about it. Be employed and be about your business. I'm 31. I am not coming to your mother's house to visit. So if you don't Ooh. got your own, it's not, it's not given. It's not. Okay. Does he have to look a certain way? Um, No, just be taller than like 5'9". Five 5'9 nine. Five nine is like the shortest I'll date. So be taller than 5'9". I prefer like a lighter brown skin with really dark, dark hair, like black hair, black beard, black brows. Like that's my type. But he don't have to look a type of way. And I love him thick. 
I can't do nothing with a skinny man. So as long as you thick and look like you eat steak and potatoes for breakfast, we'll work out. What, what that hoodoo about? I can't call it. She, she said a here. Big man, uh, a big man? Is that an insecure man? She up here just did a little uh, build the Negro tutorial. She said, I want the light skin with the dark hair with the this and this and this and the big and eat steak and potatoes. What? I don't know what that is. This this is new. This is new banter to me. You got to look like you eat steak and potatoes in the morning. What's she trying to say? You got to look like you got a uh, heart about to have heart failure or somebody who ain't going to tell me what I need to do. That's what I'm trying there to you say. go. There you go. Don't come here yeah. with no accountability. Yeah. Don't come in there all fit and stuff. Talking about let's go to the gym. She ain't with that. Ain't no. That. What she what y'all like to say? As she said, that ain't given. That ain't given. I, I hate I hate the, the slang, man, and these new terminologies. That ain't given. What the in the heck does that mean? It ain't given. <laughs> All right. Man, Mr. Jackson says she wants somebody to go to work, come home, because she ain't got the energy. <laughs> yeah, she ain't got energy. Yeah, that is true. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. that's about it be employed and be about your business i'm 31 i am not coming to your mother's house to visit so if you don't Ooh. got your own it's not it's not given it's not okay does he have to look a certain way um no just be taller than like five nine five nine with a skinny man so as long as you thick and look like you eat steak and potatoes for breakfast we'll work out okay <laughs> okay um does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, no. I mean, Charlotte, I mean, if you can live in Charlotte and take care of yourself, then I mean, I feel like you're doing pretty good. I mean, as long as you're making like 50000 a year, that's pretty good for me. But, you know, I'm well-maintained. I take care of my children. I live in a nice house. You know, I live a good life, and I do it by myself. So as long as you can do the same and be able to afford to date me, that's the thing. Maintain your lifestyle, but be able to afford to date me stop trying to invite me over for alfredo and netflix it's not given i'm not coming to your house if you can't afford to date see what i'm saying why you got you was landing the plane and i didn't have much to say i'm gonna be honest and he started talking about don't invite me over your house for no alfredo what do you mean that's your lane you got four kids we supposed to take you to roof chris <laughs> what are we talking you about she making all these demands. And as Sweet Life said, she talking about what ain't given. Don't invite me over your house for this and that. Don't invite me to your mama's house. That ain't given. That lumberjack shirt ain't given. You <laughs> go right. She said, <laughs> and you know what? They make it way too easy to poke a little fun at them because they come on here with these lists and these irrational expectations. What man that she wants is going to see this video? What man that she wants and desires is going to see this video and go running into her lumberjack shirt arms? That's all I'm asking. And third, why I said, believe it or not, that's the style here in Houston. Oh, yeah. All right. I guess. It is the, yeah, I did. I, you know, it ain't giving for her. It just ain't giving. It ain't really given. That's really all. It just I don't ain't know. I'm from Charlotte. Like I said, she got kids by two men. So apparently somebody into it, right? <laughs> I tell you what, she gonna do the Kendra cam. Let's see if her out. The, let's see if the whole ensemble is given, and we'll okay. and we'll go from there. How about that? Okay. Let's give her a shot. Date me and take me out. Then it's not for me. It's not for you. All yeah. right, let's do it. Let's do the Kendra cam. Okay. We see the waist. We see the waist. There you go. She got her belly beads on. All right. She, she appears to be fit. Ain't got too much stay on that. I tip my cap. She got four kids. But, you know, I'm going to go on and say, you, you, you know, you know what's there. You know, that ensemble so. ain't given. I would expect it to see maybe like some uh some light colored jeans or something with that. 
not some ashy black sweatpants. Well, how am I going in on this woman's clothes? If you are going to be on a show, as Kendra says, it's going to eventually pass millions of eyes. Why would you not present the world, per se, with your best self? And that's I'm... where you are incorrect, Walker. That okay. is her best self. I see you misconstruing it. What she's doing right now, she's simply throwing up the... She know what she qualified for. She come over to the Glow Realty. This is a 31-year-old woman with four kids. She That's her best self. Uh, know that. Know you that. know what? Believe it or not, I'm a little gullible. I be ho I be wishing for the best, and I I think she got more. I tell you what, once again, and she got that that overfilled closet in the background. Listen here, <laughs> you know everybody don't live in the mansion. We understand, but when, if you're gonna present yourself to the world, would you not want to present? The best you got. I know she got some better pants. <laughs> I hope she That's knows she, she got. <laughs> Look at that whole closet. Ain't <laughs> nothing in there with a bunch of stonewashed jeans up there up top. Listen, she this, put is the jeans it. On. this is it. I don't know what else you 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 wishing on the star. This is Ooh, it. A little bit. <laughs> it. Trust me, don't get no better. She presented her absolute best self, and Nug Nug is not too far away. I promise you. That Uber is he in the Uber right now. He's about 30 minutes away in the Uber. I, eventually, we're gonna start breaking down Nug Nug because there is not one standard issue Nug Nug. Every sister don't get the same Nug Nug, you know. And actually, our token Nug Nug El Couch Negro, he is actually kind of at the very bottom of the Nug Nug totem pole. That's kind of as bad as it gets. You know, I don't think she qualifies for the Couch Negro. So kudos to her because El Couch Negro is at the very bottom. She qualified as of right now, depending on how, how far she goes here. She qualifies for like a mid-level nug nug. And as, as we go on, we're going to start to get into details about the different nug nugs that these ladies qualify for. Race girl, <laughs> you see that race? It's definitely getting flat, you know. Girl, your closet looking like my closet. Child, actually, your closet look better than my closet. My closet my is so. Child, I ain't even. Let me tell y'all something. I can definitely do kids' cribs. This house right here, right here. This Listen. is the only same part. This I'm is like the only thing that's different about my place. Cause it'd be, I got so much going on. I'm moving, so I do have a slight excuse because I'm moving. Listen, but I got two closets in my house. They're fully jam packed. I am. I love shopping. I love shopping. I love finding a good deal. So you always yes. gonna find something over here in this closet that's jam packed. It don't make no sense. If I ever did Kendra cribs, y'all would be what in the hell, Kendra? <laughs> my whole house is a big closet let's yes, continue absolutely. all right so what was your last relationship my last relationship was with my baby father about three and a half years ago okay you don't have to answer but i'm gonna ask when's the last time you was intimate with someone um 2022 so <laughs> last year <laughs> last year we only in the month of g where <laughs> that could be three weeks ago it but we're gonna let it weeks, go it could be nine months it was we're just gonna let year. it go <laughs> all right it could be nine months but from what you're giving quote unquote i'm gonna say it was this year you capping so this and this is what we mean by sick hoodoo Oh, last time I was intimate with someone was back in 2022. And Kendra said that could be three weeks ago. You know, she said it could be Kendra. Could be three weeks ago. Could be months ago. Who knows? Could be something. Could be nothing, Kendra. Who knows? What man is going to take that answer seriously? You sit here playing games as far as where your genitals have been. <laughs> right on the Kendra show. Send playing games, telling jokes. That could have been weeks, Kendra, could have been months. Who knows? Move on with the interview, would you? Lack of accountability, keep going about life as if it's a joke. And that's why we joking. It's a woman with four kids, you would think. 
I mean, you think at this point you would have some degree of serious seriousness about you. You, you wouldn't would. be laughing and joking about the last, you know what I mean? Ugh, I digress. <laughs> Last year. All right. So why do you think you're single? I'm single because I'm very um I'm very smart. And my last relationship really taught me a lot. I dealt with a narcissist, didn't know that I was dealing with a narcissist. So here we go. Da, da, da. Narcissist. Captain Narcissist is back. All right. He's the captain of the ship. And he show up. You just never know, man. He sure he is a deceiving character. So the narcissist must be a shapeshifter, right? He can show up, maybe like a wolf in sheep's clothing, a Trojan horse, you know? He's all these things. He was good in the beginning. I didn't know. It was hard to figure out. But deep down, that narcissism. Nar <laughs> a narcissist. I believe by definition cannot hide being a narcissist because they are too self-indulgent. I do believe it's impossible. Last time I looked up the definition because it's used so crazy in social media. I do believe they don't have, they do not have the ability to really put on a front, a true narcissist. They come in and they just narcissistic from the get go. They don't know how else to be their narcissist. So when they come in, it's them, 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 them. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Me, 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 my, my, my. They don't care about anyone else. So I'm, my argument is, I don't think you find out that this person is a narcissist after weeks or months or years of dating or after you done gave him your wound once, two, three times over. No, as I said before, we are what we attract. We are what we attract. To some heavy extent. Once I got out of that situation, I vowed to never get in it again. So I pick up on small things. I don't judge people, but I pick up on small things and I know it doesn't work for me. So I can't settle. No matter how cute you are, no matter how much money you got, I can never settle. And I know that since I am a mom with children, I have to pick a very particular type of man. I can't just bring any. That's the only correct thing you said. And you know who that man is? They daddy. Talking about guys pick a particular man. Yeah, and you left him. Straight like that. They daddy. That's who should be there. That's who should have never left. Plain and simple. We all make mistakes. That's understood. But please, the audience that's watching is going to see this video Please understand and see how, look at how these women continue to move and look how they keep ending up on Kendra. And as I've said before, to wind up on Kendra is some degree of desperation. And if and you want- she said, she said, I just can't settle. So would a man be settling by getting with her with four children? There we go. Men are logical. It depends on the man. It depends on that man. You know, maybe if he, you know, I don't know, missing a limb, you know what I'm saying? But she's settling now. She can't settle. Now she's settling. <laughs> you see her? It's a double-edged sword. She got, we got to get, we got to get the delusion away. I can't be a woman sitting here with four kids talking about, you know, making all these demands about what I want with four kids. Let's see if the guy that she wants can have kids. And then we'll know whether or not to really drive a drive a stake in this one. Anybody around my children or myself. So I'm going to be single until literally God literally puts somebody in my life that's meant for me and my children. And the there you go. So pretty much she said she's going to be single for the rest of her life because getting in a relationship and finding the mate, that's a human choice. Got nothing to do with God. So you beat me to it. You beat me to it. Stop that. There, listen here. It's safe to say you most, you should, I believe, you should rely on God for most things in your life other than bringing a hu another human into your life. You need to attract that with your life, with your energy, with your life choices. You're not about to be, y'all not about to be sitting in the house watching Game of Thrones, 
or or you know any of these goofy shows and god just gonna say okay mr six foot two you know six figures go ahead and knock on her door it's her time why not why not because that man got free will and he wants something too he got hopes and aspirations as well and there we are ladies when you demanding this man think what are his aspirations what does he want is do he want this do he want to come in here and take care of another man's kids and and uh and uh, adopt this oatmeal pie <laughs> you know just something you need to ask yourself that's all that's all i'm saying i agree touche the best way until then i'll be single okay and yeah. why would a guy be lucky to be with you i mean he'll be lucky to be with me because for one i'm like the funniest person ever I'm really down to earth. I'm like a girly girl, but I'm super tomboy. So I love getting my hands dirty. I'm from New York, so you know how I give it up. Like I got great personality. I'm not dull. Your mother's gonna love me. And then I'm a go-getter. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I have multiple businesses and I'm just a nonstop, just perfect person to have. And I love to cuddle. So she says she work all day. She ain't got no time for no man, but she'd be the perfect woman for you. Did that make sense? Sound like she would have made a perfect wife to her baby daddy. She sound <laughs> sound pretty cool. She talking about she like to work with her hands and stuff. I think that's dope. Sound like you'd have been dope for your baby daddy. Uh, y'all should have stayed together and made that work. Or go back. You got three kids by that man. You better go figure that out. Y'all better go get each other. And both of y'all get out the road. Both of y'all go and get out the road because y'all both in the way. All right. Go and find this couch, Negro. I know you don't want them, but you gave them three babies. Go find them, grab them, and get out the road. We must assume he is something like a couch negro <laughs> because who would dare leave such a prize? She had to leave him, don't you see? Because she's a boss. and We're an entrepreneur. Serial entrepreneur. And she refuses to settle. She will not. Will not. Good. Good. Well, there you have it. This is Adore Her, Charlotte, 31, Aquarius, yeah. now tech, four kids. Do you want more kids? I want one more child. I do. Okay. I, and, I don't um, need to, though, but I would like one. Could the man have kids? He can. I mean, a good daddy is a turn on. Seeing him in daddy mode, so you can get whatever you need. I will get okay. just time rotated. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> what would you say to the guy that might be cautious because you have four kids? Ooh, this is a good one, which is crazy because most men that deal with me have no children. Most men I date have no children. It's usually the men with children that are more cautious. But what I will say is that stop judging women with children. We are not out here looking for men to provide for our kids. We're looking for companionship. And if companionship... And there we go. The self-centered narcissism. You keep talking about what y'all looking for. Don't matter if this man don't want a woman with four kids. We, y'all, we just looking for companionship. What is that man looking for? You can't force that on nobody. A man come in there being this kind, sweet companion, and you ladies know y'all do not respect that. You might like it for a moment. He may be of use to you in your life and your lifestyle, but at the end of the day, that shit going to get old real fast. And eventually, you fall out of love and like with them. And they end up cheating on that poor brother that came in to play stepdaddy. It's a tale as long as time. It's not worth y'all be asking for something y'all really don't desire. And it's a little, it's a little bit of logic in that she's like, I know what I qualify for. You know, I'm not looking for somebody to come take you. Ain't gotta come provide none of that. So it's logic there. She's like, I ain't asking for that. Just come on in and just be my companion. That is not that that's not a good recipe for this. I'm telling you, usually that man comes in the form of a nug nug. 
Y'all got to understand that you're not going to the beta male provider really doesn't exist. You're not going to find this build the Negro. You know, you got to be this. You got to look like this. Your hair got to look like this. You got to accept for my kids. I ain't actually for no money. And y'all know that situation becomes very, very tainted. If that dude ain't coughing up greenbacks and paying for stuff, it don't work that way. Because a man, she ain't gonna ask you because it's expected. There you go, a man should. There you go. So it's sick. Who do? She said I ain't asking for it, but a man's supposed to come into a relationship and provide some resources at the least, some if not all. Incredible. So let's hear what else she got to say. Turns into love then you're automatically going to start loving our children. Don't look at children as a burden because when you're dealing with a real woman, she's only going to bring prosperity and, and value to your life. She's That is true, but like you keep hitting on, who is this man? Show me the body. It's not going to be the man that you're going to desire and respect. It's not to say this man don't exist because he do. But then once mm -hmm. it all boiled down, like Willie said, you're going to end up cheating on that brother and disrespecting that brother because he ain't your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, tenth, twentieth choice. Seriously. And we not putting down stepfathers. I said it over five times. Stepfathers deserve at least a parade, if not two, one to two parades a year in celebration of everything that they do. Seriously. But they not don't get the respect they deserve. That's why we don't advocate for it because, in the mostly it don't work. Being a stepdad does not work out. It's not the best thing for the for the man in most cases. Don't bring the all police in here. Don't do it. In most cases, it does not work out. That that stepdad is undesirable, and she. And any woman that has kids and a man comes in to that fold, she pegs that man as a certain kind of man. She's like, oh, you willing to take care of my kids that ain't yours? Okay. And they use it as leverage in most cases. Again, keep the all police away from him. All right. All right. So we're in the comments. We got sweet life. He said, if he brings a woman dinner, they'll say, why didn't you pay for valet? If a guy buys a woman flower, he's expected to get candy as well. So men can't win, which is true. <laughs> you know, just can't, can never, some women are impossible to please. That's, That's that, the I seen a post uh, early this week and some post sister said, you know, just because you a good father don't make you a good man. And one woman actually went a step further. It was actually on one of these bigger podcasts. She said, just because you a good man overall, don't you don't necessarily make you a catch. And then someone said, what do you mean? Say, you could be a good man, provide, protect, all that. But if you ain't exciting, if you can't get me roused up, if you can't get my little man in the boat, you know, singing and dancing the Macarena, then it ain't it ain't a chance, and that is that is wow. And these and these uh these words be coming from not single women with no kids, not nines and tens. These be coming from common normal women with children that have no right or no place to be making these demands. As Gavin said, some women you just can't please. You just can't. Hey, also make sure y'all support the show. Hit the cash app. The link's in the description below. So if you're watching, hit the description. The link's right in there. Cart before the horse. Support the show. We'll get back into it. Never going to drain you. If that woman is draining you and wants you to do this and do that for her kids, she's not the woman for you. But when she steps into your life and she's bringing wealth, prosperity, and nurturing, that's the woman for you. No matter if she got four kids or 40, you got to find the right woman with kids. Whoa, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Is she speaking in parables? Indeed she is. Listen, words mean things. She said, listen here, fellas, stop being so harsh on ladies with kids. 
And there's everything needs context. It does. No, I would say a woman with one kid, you know, maybe. But she's talking about if you got four or 40. That's where this gets comical. What do you mean 40 kids? Let, let's, okay, I know we know she she just going off. So 10, let's, let's, 10, 12 of them. So a man should be, a, man, a single man with no kids should be willing because she said a lot of her guys come in don't have kids. She said so you got to find the right woman with kids. You got to, she is telling, she is projecting her hood out to the world. She say, hey, good dudes. No, y'all just finding the wrong women with kids. Y'all got to find a woman like me with kids, don't you see? Because I'm different. She says she nurturing all this stuff. It sounds dope. Everything she says she provides sounds top notch. If that's the case, why didn't your baby dad stick around? Don't you understand men going to ask these questions? If you're so amazing, if you're so dope, if you're such a catch and you do all this building and nurturing and serial entrepreneur and you take care of yourself and you only build and provide and, and you know, and feed kittens on the weekend, why did that man then impregnate your woman? Why did he leave? What happened? Please fill me in. Three times. Three times. Come on, give me a break. Like you said, ain't nobody shooting for perfection. Quit coming on here trying to paint yourself as this perfect person. You're a very flawed individual, as we all are. But you speaking, y'all try to grandize yourself like you mother CMOS go incorrect. Don't judge a woman by the number of children she has. Find out about her mind first, and then you'll see. I'm gonna love this woman and all her kids, and plus her two German shepherds, because this woman ain't she is the shit, <laughs> and that's just it. And that's just it. Find that right. And like I said, that man out there, he in your inbox. He be trying to holler at you. You won't take him serious. As a great man once said, he, he going to give you forehead kisses, all that, buy you edible arrangements. You, you be uh, ghosting him. He in all your DMs on all your social media sites. You don't want that guy. Shout out to my man, Rob. Shout out to Beans. <laughs> hey, as Gavin said, she done ran across this dude. He done met her, tried to talk sweet to her. Hey, beautiful, how you doing? I like to get to know you sometime. And she, boy, <laughs> she hit her with the boy bye. You ain't giving. <laughs> don't stand it, Poe. You know, uh, Poe, you know, steel worker, the Poe Amazon man, don't stand a chance with this sister, even though she should be happy to obtain his presence. But he don't stand a chance. Why? Because hypergamy is at a warped all time high. Even a baby mama of four has some degree of hypergamy in her bone somewhere. Four, four on, four chillings, four. That's it. And that's our period. And that's our period. That's our period. <laughs> I think you're speaking for all. I see a lot of women yes. saying yes, 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 yes. So I think you just represented the moms in that with that statement. Thank you. I would definitely make sure I make that a clip. Yeah. Because I will say this as a host, and I sit here, but I hear it from both ways because I also hear women say they don't want men with a lot of kids too. Yeah. So it goes both ways, but men in particular do, and I and this is what I've been told, it's because they have to be able to provide, right? Absolutely. So it's like, if, like you said, he has to love on you and love on your kids. Mm -hmm. So that means he got to make enough money to do that too. So, so the net net of it, y'all have to stop saying, you just got to come, my kids is good. A real man's not just going to come into this house. He is obligated, a real man. There's some, it's within himself. He's not even going to put himself in that position because he knows I'm obligated. That's the right of a man. So when you say my kids is good, I can have 40 kids. They taken care of. Don't worry. You won't get it. That's 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 such bull crap. It is. Try paint the picture. Try to try to try to envision this. Some good dude, you know, looking the way she needed to look. He walk in the door. He all everything she needs. 
and he just come in, they spend time together, but he don't purchase, he don't provide anything for the house. And he just watches her struggle because she's gonna be struggling. And he don't you even know, ain't my huh. you see what I'm saying. Like she ain't gonna sit there and say, dang, you know what? I gotta go buy my son, you know, some shoes or some cleats for football practice. Like these conversations ain't gonna pop up. Like she ain't gonna make sure he overhears this. And he just was supposed to sit there and be like, all right, go ahead and handle that. That's not that's not in the real man. And, and respect her to honor and respect him after that. Come on, this a whole rabbit hole. And there's supposed to be real intimacy in the bedroom. After he, he ain't forking over no type of resources. And she ain't supposed to meet Nug Nug in the bar who's going to give her 500 and take her to the telly. And she ain't supposed to oblige. As men, we understand and wholeheartedly accept men are not loved unconditionally. A man is loved only on the grounds, as Chris Rock said, only on the grounds that he can provide something. And like I said, we accept that because in the other way seems odd. What my big goofy self look like laying around and not being productive? That looks wild, like a big kid, like a big child, like a couch negro. You know, that is true, but they got to realize it's stepping stones to it. I'm not going to date you and tell you this is what you got to do. This is what you got to do. Like when, when you're dating me, you're getting to know me. I'm only telling you about my children. You shouldn't even be meeting my children for the first six months. So that's not the case of, you know, he got to have this. He got to have that. He has to build that infatuation and that connection with you. Once he loves you, there ain't nothing he won't do for you. And it comes with children. If he knows that his girl that he's in love with got children, he's going to step his own game up to make sure that I can provide for her and her kids. Because one thing I'm not going to do is lose this good woman. And that's it. And he the, the hoodoo must come to an end. When she first started off, he only got to make 50K. If that don't matter, as long as he take care of herself. And Charlotte, yada, yada, yada. But now she going to say, if he a real man, if he a real man, he going to make sure he going to do what he got to do to take care of the girl he's so in love with and her kids. She got four kids. She got herself. This brother need to come in making six figures just to keep things even and steady. Don't you get it? Again, that's why the who do. She said 50K. She started saying 50K. But now? Go. 50K now we have six figures in the house with a woman for kids. 50k. Because first she said he ain't got to do nothing. Understand the double talk. In the beginning, she said he don't have to do anything. As long as if he can provide for himself and Charlotte, he must be all right. But then she gonna go on to say, you know what? But once he falls in love with a woman like me, he gonna love me and all my four kids. And he gonna provide for us all. Double talk, talking about both. Sides of her neck. You don't realize that she's really a good woman. I didn't even meet her kids in six months. So obviously she's not using me to provide for the kids. And that's that. And there you have it. There you and go. that's on period. <laughs> period. Period. <laughs> period. <laughs> Adore her. Let's do it. Charlotte. Oh, does the guy got to be in Charlotte? No. As long as he's in driving distance, I don't drive no more than three hours. So as long as he's within that that perimeter or if he want to travel, I'm with it. I'm open. Okay. And um, what's the age range you would date? You're 31. I'm 31. I'm going to say 28 only because I feel like some men you just never know might be more mature. Here we go. But the that's what I'll be saying. Poor. You cannot. You just throw up to me. What are you gonna do with a 28-year-old man besides have your fifth child playing around out here? What a young man gonna do with a woman and four kids? What 28-year-old man making around six figures is gonna come into this and be the man she won't? Come on, can y'all 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 gotta paint this picture? She's 31, she won a man that's 28, looking the way she looked. She she drew that out. And at the end of her spill, he went from having to make 50k. To roughly a hundred thousand, and now I gotta be 28. That's why I said, Wait, I can't wait to hear the age. If she would have said something like 45, 50, I said, Okay, she think that's because he old, he a little dumb. I get that hoodoo, but no, she tripling down. She said, I want 28, 28 because he could be mature. 
she think with her little man in the boat ain't no 28 year old man that has kept a little bit of the king's gold gonna come in there in that situation it's not good for him as gavin said at what point is the man settling at what point women say they settle all the time i settle i settle i settle ask yourself at what point would this 28 year old man make it six figures would he be settling if that was your son all of the ladies all the mothers out there if that 28 year old man making six figures was your son he didn't got some type of degree some type of certification and he said hey mom i met this lady you know she dope she pretty you see oh nice baby she 31 not a problem she got four kids though mom and i ain't got none pretty sure your mom gonna say baby you might want to think about that if your mother has your best interest and she would say you Man, might there, wanna... if you, she got four kids you can have you got six kids yourself your mama gonna be like, hey, baby, <laughs> not a good decision, baby. So, yeah, yeah, mother will say that in any case, I would imagine. There you go. As she should. It should. Her intuition. There you go. So I'm gonna say 28 to 45. I like them old. <laughs> I got you. If the guy's not, so you gotta be three hours from Charlotte in the perimeter. I mean, if you want to drive seven hours, that's his business. But I'm not driving no more than three, is what I'm saying. So if you want to be, you know, could he fly you somewhere? I guess the question I'm trying to get I to mean, is if absolutely we passport already. He could be in Jamaica or Africa or wherever. I'm, I'm out. I'm he's out. He's out. <laughs> All right, girl, let's do it, boy. And there goes the delusion. You gotta be rooted. Why don't you just say yes? The man has to be near me. I got four kids. How am I going to date a man in Africa with four kids? What is this rooted in? Pure delusion? A whole serial entrepreneur. And what, what time do you have to go meet Mr. Wright in Africa or Jamaica or, or Afghanistan or Dubai, you know, or the, or the, or the forest of rural China, wherever the hell you think you going, what time do you have? With all these occupations and and folk chilling, that sweet life said, you got four kids and you're a serial entrepreneur, and you got time to be traveling abroad and get flued out. <laughs> I wonder if kids are gonna ask her if if she do get flued out, <laughs> if she gonna give she feel obligated to give it up. I I like that question because it's a messed up question. It really is. There's really no right answer to that question. Only one woman answered that question correctly. Kendra said, if you did get flued out, you know, you're you going to give him some. And the sister said, oh, depends, you know, depends on how we hit it off. That's fair. That's the only fair answer. But a yes or a no, wrong. How do you want the guy to reach out to you, honey? Instagram. What is it? My Instagram is A-D-O-R-3 underscore H three R. So it's adore her. So the E's are threes. Say it again. All right. A D O. Why not just use your real name? That's the Godfather. He used to say all the time. I'm, I'm super butterfly, smooth, girly girl, 88, 99, four. You'd be like, what? I'm back that thing up faster than you could blink 69 at. <laughs> I'm F N F. But I want a man. I need to get married. But you know they are F N F God first. Uh, all about the one lady say she Beyonce's pinky toe or some some wild stuff. That was, <laughs> that was her name. So I gotta stop the net net of it, man. Show name. Adore her. What is he adoring? So the man. You're doing them long ass eyelashes, please. 2023, and here's the thing Kendra wear eyelashes. There's levels to this. Let's get into this just a little bit. No man is against you know, they woman getting all dolled up at all, but there, there should be an illusion that that hair, that those eyelashes actually belong to you. There's supposed to be an illusion. I shouldn't look at you and be like, I know that ain't your hair. I know that ain't your eyelashes. I know that ain't your face. <laughs> it's 
straight like no, that. no, that is not it. Ain't no man against that. Like, can you get her eyelashes, little individuals? Because that type of stuff costs bread, bread costs resources. There's levels to this stuff, and some of these games aren't for us poor people to be playing. There you go. Just because they sell it in the dollar store, don't make it okay. It really don't. It really don't. There's levels. It's in there for a reason. It's for the clowns. Yes. But yeah.